Previously on X-Men. On Shadow Toys Photography. Mystique has left the X-Men to join Mezco Magneto and his Brotherhood of Mutants, injuring Hasbro Gambit in the process. Mutant sympathizers at Mezco Toys have released him, and now everyone can relax. Gambit has returned. And oh boy, have we waited. So pumped to finally have this spectacular Gambit adult collectible figure by Mezco Toys. Let, let's take a closer look at him. Start uh, with the head here. Oh no, let's see if I can adjust my light here. So you can really see. I mean, this is really not doing him justice. But uh, it's a uh, fantastic head sculpt. You can see the molds in the top of his... Uh, Headband there, his signature five o'clock shadow, hair, very nicely sculpted. Oh, I didn't notice this on the back, very cool. Let's move right along his jacket, very cool jacket. It's very, uh, it feels like the same material as the uh, Nightmare Batman. So we'll take a comparison look at that later on. Let's take an up-close look at his armor. Now his armor, it looks <laughs> like metal, but it is kind of like a rubbery piece, similar to, we have like an Aquaman situation going on. I don't see any cuts for an ab crunch. I mean, the figure has it underneath there, but we'll get into that in an articulation. Let's just, uh, we're just enjoying the sculpt there. I like how he has the signature purple stripes on the side. A little pouch. Like the back of that armor. We'll see about maybe taking off the jacket. We'll see. <laughs> I'll try. Jacket's flopping there. Just want to take a look at the back of the figure before we take a look at the jacket. From behind. Very cool. Ooh, look at the front of the legs here. X-Men belt. Comes with right out of the package, just fists. I really haven't done anything with them. I just took them out of the plastic, and uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's swap his heads out. See, it's my first time doing this. Oh, that was easy peasy, smooth as silk. Here's the second head sculpt, the little cocky smirk. Put them side by side here. Not bad. Seems they uh, sculpted the hair a little different. Am I crazy? Maybe it's not. Kind of looks the same. No, actually, I think it's different. Cool. Let's take a closer look. Expression. I love companies across the board. I love that they give, well, Mesco especially give a, uh, you know, static calm face and then a, uh, usually a great expression or screaming faces. They have their screaming faces down like, wow. That's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's get into the articulation. See him moving his head around. Pretty good. Uh, no, uh, is there a bendy wire in there? Yeah, yes, there is in the collar. Boom. Yep, there's a bendy wire all the way down here. Get some nice flare action. So, the jacket's got articulation. I thought they were uh, nipples like that infamous bat armor <laughs> for a quick second. But, man, I really love that sculpt. Oh, man, it just pops on this figure. But, let's get in the arms. Jacket's a little restricting, but again, it's realistic to the material and the character, so I'm okay with it. I can't really pull this down, but 
scientists do their normal thing. Might as well pull them off right now, right? Oh, not too bad. You can see that there. Nicely sculpted. Perfectly, crisply painted. Excellent. Let's see. I'll try and pull this off when I get to the other one. But, uh, Ab, like I said, I don't feel a cut in here. So, but it is kind of, you see it kind of moving when I push it there. Like, he does have an ab crunch in there, but yeah, it's a little, uh, a little restricted because the armor. But we all expected this from the, uh, promo shots we knew this was a possibility we got an aquaman situation but i love that the uh movie aquaman uh figure and so far i'm really liking this figure as well it's definitely after john wick i was waiting for gambit and of course the predator go up for pre-order but gambit was definitely next on the hype list for me so let's uh, continue with the articulation there of course you can move them um, you get the i'm gonna move them at the bottom waist here so he definitely has some hip movement in there. Crotch guard. Legs go up. Swivel. Well, this feels, it feels cool to the touch. I like it. Double jointed knees. I did mention the arms are double jointed. Let's check that. Ankle pivot. Oh, really good. Really good. Excellent. Goes up pretty high. Back a little. Better forward. Side to side. Excellent. Alright, let's um let's pop this other hand off. And let's see if I'm able to pull the jacket off. Oh, oh, that came off scary easy for a minute so let's see if i can uh, i'm able to do this oh yeah it's able to come off he's got design under there um shoot i know if i take this off it may be troublesome to go back on but let's pull off one arm at least oh they sculpted oh man awesome Whoops, oh, the whole head came off. Ah, oh, it looks like, oh, customizers, that's a, oh, it looks like kind of, well, that's kind of an optical illusion. It looks like a hole, but it's actually a peg. The yeah, customizers, looks like you can maybe pop this off if you want to finagle something. I see a lot of great Mezco Customs out there. All right, so he's got double. Thing, but yeah, uh, the uh, arm was a lot less restricted because this material is a lot thinner. His uh, underneath jumpsuit. Cool. Oh, we can get a closer, better look at his back here. Inside the coat. Very cool. Awesome. They didn't have to do that. They could have made it attached again like the Nightmare Batman. But they were like, no. Nah. Let's, uh, let's give people options, which I love, you know? Life is full of options. And I want that to translate to these awesome, awesome pieces of art. Let's uh, kind of twist that arm back in there. It's tough. It's like a real jacket, you know? Or kind of like putting a jacket on a uh, somebody else. You know, it's like, is your arm okay in there? Okay. Okay. I think he's good. Handless for now, but we'll go through them in a minute. Let's go over his accessories. See if he'll stand. Hopefully. Yes. Yes. Okay. We covered the other head. Let's, uh, uh let's cover this. Now, be careful when you open the package because some things jumped out at me. Not these, though. These were protected. Here's the first set of cards. Let's see how close I can get this. All the way. What is that? Royal Flush? 
Then at 10, I can't really read that. Jack, queen, king, ace. Oh, yeah. Of course, you can use these for your joker figures as well. Another fine addition to the collection. Now, I have the single card here. I put it in one of his hands already because it's, like, impossible to pick up quickly. But it does pop out of there. I'll look at that hand in a second. I guess we'll cover that hand first, but... The single card, Ace of Hearts, and the stack had an Ace of Hearts, so he's always got an extra up his sleeve, a little Lando cheater there, but here's the hand that holds it. I'm leaning towards using this hand. Let's see, we'll put that on the side for now. Um, let's go in the accessories. Of course, he comes with the stand. Oops, sorry about that. A little glare, but... Typical, normal. Comes with the hook. Uh, uh, I misplaced it. But uh, yeah, cool. Textured around the side there. Excellent. Another excellent stand. Oh, and real quick, this gambit did come with the little grub, which I love. I adore these little things. I am so glad they're giving them us these again. So I could keep army building. They kind of got wiped out in their golden grub uh, dragon clan story. But mine, uh, my antenna kind of warped a little bit. But I'm not complaining because it gives my uh, collection a little variety. Here's the um, really cool throwing card effect there's a hand stuck in there i'm pretty sure they like sculpted a hand and put it in the effect now you could see oh yeah you saw right away like they can move that but you got to be careful because around the pinky here is really thin so i'm afraid to break that but i think a little heat and i could pop that out and you could kind of maybe put this on any hand you want but i mean what hand is this the looks like the left so it'd be like, phew. awesome, awesome. This is his biggest, I think, best effect. It's kind of looking a little, I don't know, orange on camera. It's definitely a nice neon pink in person, believe me. I mean, it like matches that, but on camera, wow, it definitely looks like an orange. Don't let that fool you. It's definitely pink. I don't know what's happening. It's probably maybe my lighting. Let's just chalk it up to my lighting. Uh, let's see, what other one do we have here? Oh, is there, here's the smaller, the lit up single card, which I'm sure can fit in this hand as well. So that's two can fit in this, so let's lean towards this. Cool, here's the stack on fire. Yeah, they're all looking orange. It's gotta be my lighting, forgive me. I'm using LED, but... Yeah, weird. I mean, actually, you know what? On camera, that's going to work because it won't really blend too well. I mean, it blends more in person, like I said, but when he's throwing it, it kind of looks like he's ignited it, you know? And, uh, yeah. So, all right, it works. Here's the one where he's kind of giving the, kind of looked like he was giving the middle finger, but <laughs> it's two fingers. Now, this hand... Well, first off, here's the card flying, which is pretty cool. I like this one as well. But this hand does slip out. Now, I see some, like, looks like some glue there. I don't think it's supposed to do that. But it was able to. And it's kind of an extra hand. And I don't know. I kind of prefer the slip the effect onto the hand idea than the change the hand with the effect like captain marvel is a good example if she had two like glow fists and you could just attach the effects to that i feel a lot safer for wrist peg longevity i guess you could say um here's his staff let's see get my hand in there to crisp that up detail that up very nice different textures and levels all the way through it it's realistic like you know 
it's maybe like six inches, 12 inches, and he can whoosh, pop this out. And now he's Donatello. Um, let's go over some hands. You saw the two, uh, the two fists. You saw the one that holds the card. Here's two. <clears throat> My um, partner, girlfriend, significant other has a uh, <laughs> a name for these types of hands, but uh, you know. Um, anyways, but they're to hold the uh, staff. So I'm probably going to use is the right hand, right hand that you hold it. Let me bring that up close. A little detail. Shout out to uh, Dylan, who, um, you know, I appreciate that I was able to help with the hand situation. He has this hand situation with his Batman figure. I hope that gets resolved. But, you know, I want to take extra time to show the hands. In case anyone has any little mishaps, uh, hopefully get cleared up soon. There's a splayed throwing multiple cars. Ha ha ha. Spider-Man wall climbing hands. I don't know, but um, yeah, very cool. Yeah, perfect paint. Can't really see. Can I see his fingernail? Uh, yeah, you could see it more in person than you not so much in this one but in this one you could definitely see it not so much on camera though but you could definitely see it in person again take my word for it okay let's uh let's hands him up um well definitely a bow staff holding hand for the righty here nice perfect and I don't know, let's do a quick, let's not hold it to it, because I don't want to, you know me, I'm sorry, but uh don't want to stress those pegs, but yeah, oh, it's holding, kind of, cool, <sighs> I like that a lot, you get lots of nice poses out of that, let's see if this one will just kind of, yeah. just always be careful, make sure you, uh, you're mindful when any character you have twisting, uh, wearing a coat, when you're twisting the arm and moving, articulating the arm, be mindful that, you know, you got to move the jacket coat around it to get that articulation up there. I saw a lot of people struggling with the John Wick and uh, yeah, you got to manipulate the shoulder in there to get that arm all the way up. I mean, kind of, that didn't work this time, but hold it from this end or not sorry get the idea cool oh yeah that's a shot coming at you and uh I splayed hands That out. Um, you saw him with fists on already. Okay, where's the card holding hand? Um, hmm. Yes, because this could hold the more, the most, I should say, effects. Okay. Let's put that to the test. Let's, uh, let's get him in a couple poses here. Let's get the staff in his hand. I can't wait any longer. It's like the fist is cool. No, it's not completely closed. It's open there, so. Get it loose in there, or you can get it tight around the center there. Get that jacket up, like the uh, Rebel Tech. Oh, we got to get a card in his hand. He's a uh, mold the man up here. Let's do the singular first. Mm. 
Whoops. Will he stand? Let's manipulate that uh, ankle pivot. Those seem to be good. Also, this surface, this little plastic surface I'm using as my makeshift danger room area here. I got a lot of things in there. This isn't the great area to balance on, but oh, there we go. Yeah, it's okay. Hope you all are enjoying, uh, that have Disney Plus are enjoying the old X-Men cartoons. If you have Disney Plus and didn't realize it or don't and want to watch the X-Men cartoons, I suggest you get Disney Plus because they have like every single season on there. And oh man, has it been not only a kick in the nostalgia, just, oh, just, they're awesome. They're, they're still, they still hold up. They hold up. Some of the dialogue is a little funny, but. The characters are still there. Let's throw them in. Uh, let's try and get them in a card throwing. Pose. Let's get the stack. About three of a kind. Sorry, my New Orleans accent is uh, terrible. So I apologize if anyone's from uh, New Orleans or down south and I'm butchering your accent. I do apologize. I mean no offense. I do it because I love it. And I love the characters. I love accents. I love people. These people everybody well, i'm a new yorker so i'm used to everybody all walks of life so i accept all here we love everybody everybody adds their own flavor to things and i just i love it okay enough of this let's uh let's get into some comparisons already to the rest of the x-men squad well first i was mentioning his jacket let's uh let's grab Let's grab the Nightmare Batman real quick. I mean, obviously you're not gonna be able to feel it, but a little size comparison. Gambit is surprisingly tall. He's like, I don't know. I mean, this video is not gonna do him justice, but when you get him in hand, you're gonna be like, whoa, he's a, he's a little taller than uh, expected there. But yeah, so, well, let's flip him around. I know they're not the same jacket. I'm just talking about materials. Uh, up close, it looks like yes. And it's just different, differently colored. Man, <laughs> I don't know if on camera they look more similar or different, but in person, yeah, it's kind of like giving me the same thing. It's like close, but not really. Oh, I didn't notice the buckle on Gambit's thing here. I think it's plastic. Oh, you know what? I bet that really buckles. Okay. We have enough of this Batman for a second. Let me, uh, I gotta check this out. Hold up. Let's see if we can loop this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not that he wears it like this, but cool that you could do that i mean it's functional i'm sure if i took the time i could slip it into the other side and get him a little noir clothes jacket looking but all right let's can continue with the comparisons here since we're in the dc universe let's just get him next to the new batman so you could see how he scales with the body see he's like i mean not i, I guess it's the hair and the silver boots but he's just looking like lanky, I guess you could say. But that's him with Batman. I mean, he towers over him. It's kind of comical. All right, let's uh, let's see who's next. Let's move with another bigger character, Cable. He's bigger, he's bigger than Cable. That's the hair. I mean, all day he's gonna be everybody with that hair. 
It's the hair we fell in love with in the 90s, so... <laughs> um, yeah. Awesome. All right. I know everyone's waiting for this one. Next to his girl, his woman. Now, Mezco. I don't like to be negative. Uh, I Criticism's okay. But I'm going to say this. You know what I'm going to say. I don't have to say it. Where are our female Marvel characters? All right, we got Captain Marvel. You made the <laughs> Marvel female character. But uh, uh, we need Rogue now. Um, ASAP, yeah. I mean, do her on the normal body. It'll be fine. I mean, oh, man, it will do a crazy good job with her. So good. But they scale pretty, uh, pretty well together. But Mezco, please, please make Rogue next. I mean, yeah. Um, Psylocke, they'll do a good Psylocke. I'll bring her out next. I have um, Rebel Tech Psylocke. But yeah, I want them to do just like two females, a couple females next. We definitely need. Oh wow, she uh, she's quite small, almost childlike. Maybe like Peter Parker, teenage adolescent sized, but yeah, he's way bigger than her. Um, let's continue on with the females because let's face it, X Men have the best females around. Jubilee, who again, Mezco, like, <laughs> oh man, they would make him awesome. Awesome Jubilee. And of course, the main lady, leader, fellow leader of X Men, Storm. She's a little, uh, her ankle's a little wonky, so forgive the, uh, the unbalanced height comparison, but. Yeah, um, he's... I'm trying to think back to the cartoon. I mean, Rogue is pretty tall in the cartoon. So, yeah, I think she would have to think. Oh, Logan lost a hand. Yeah, he's, uh... <laughs> he's supposed to be short. So that's okay. Ooh, where'd your fist go, Logan? Let's get him to... Okay, there it is. Um... Let's continue with, uh, let's do another Mezco. Let's do the man from the beginning. Our host. The man who introduces every episode of X-Men. Sorry, I just went on that kick. Yes, I like to throw all their jackets on there. I feel like that's their, like, uh, varsity jackets, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I love that look. Ah! Okay. Uh, okay, one, uh, let's do one more. I could do X-Men all day long. Let's do Colossus. Here's a bigger one. Wow, he's like off the screen. <laughs> Huge. Now he's got that ab crunch, but I don't know. I mean, I prefer the aesthetic look than this. Maybe something could have been slipped under there. Maybe under the breastplate here. Like a top swivel and then... You know, bottom at the hips. Maybe that would have gave a little bit extra. Um, but I don't like armor. You know, I mean, he, but again, it's unrealistic because he can't, you can't do that in that kind of armor. You know, you can't just move like your chest forward. You know, I mean, I guess you you can move your body all, all around more, but I don't know. I just don't like this. It's just, it's just not good looking to me anymore. I love everything else about Hasbro Legends, but I mean, this is why we ultimately go with Mezco here. This is why we're here. This just looks a lot better. I mean, what can I say? Am I biased? I mean, I don't want to say that. I mean, it's just, I just like the look. I, mean, I just like the look. What can I say? Anyways, uh, let's get him into another pose here. But I always wanted to give a, uh, quick shout out to new subscribers Chris Bernardo and Delicious. Thank you so much for subscribing and thank you to all those who have subscribed. Thank you, of course. And uh, thank you all who, uh, who are watching. 
Try and get him in something here. Hold that staff again, Gambit. Close to uh, 100 subscribers. When I do, I'll do a little personal video where I'll play with a couple new figures. I'm kind of overwhelmed, backed up right now. Like, uh, got extremely lucky and blessed this week. Didn't find any uh, Baronesses. That's the big week when this video was shot anyway, if this was at a later date. But, um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been, I've been uh, surprisingly finding some good stuff. So, yeah, you know, I'll do that. Talk about myself. Let you in on uh, a little behind the scenes, what I want to do here. And uh, things I like, collect, you know, kind of bring out some obscure figures. I don't know. Whatever, just have a fun non-review uh, video. Anyways, uh, Gambit, want to uh, take us out as usual? With style. Whoa!